Away from that, let's do some political related stories. The National Women Organizer of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, Hannah Bissou, has described the ruling NPP government as inhumane and insensitive for ignoring victims and families who lost their loved ones during the Ayawaso West Wagon by elections and the Tichiman South shooting incident in the 2020 elections. Hannah Bissou said they want justice to be served from the NPP governing party. An apprentice, Abdallah Ayare, and one Tajuddin Al Hassan lost their lives when security personnel fired shots to disperse a crowd that gathered at the coalition center on 8th December 2020 in the Tichiman South constituency of the Bono East region. 54 year old Hawa Musa, mother of the late Tajuddin Al Hassan, said it has been seven months after the demise of her son and no care has been shown to them from the ruling government. All the hardworking mother ones is for justice to be served. A banker she won more sukura one or jump allow. And Casa or Becasa, seven seven prayers are what can be a Colon one Sambo and so Emma Abujo. Sesa Matia one. Yusuf Amalo, 49 years, father of 18 year old Abdallah Yarek, shot and killed in Techiman South election related violence, is also asking the governing New Patriotic Party to bring finality to circumstances leading to the death of their son. We don't need this thing to be continued. That is why we appeal to the government that he should bring the justice out. So that when he brings the justice out, and then every Ghanaian will be witness that government has done his part. So that is why we family, we are just appealing to the government that he should bring the justice to all the Ghanaians to see. The National Women Organizer of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, Hannah Bisu, brought these families of victims of election-related violence in the Tichiman South constituency, members of the NDC, headquarters and some persons with disability to celebrate her birthday with her. She condemned the ruling government for ignoring the affected families and called for justice to be served. It's wickedness. It's mean. This government is insensitive. When you speak, it's not because you are being, you, you are trying to just chastise the government, but you are speaking the truth. We want justice. That's all that we want. What we need in this country is justice. So I say, you see, it's hypocritical for anybody to speak about peace when there's no justice. So all that we are asking for as a people, for and on behalf of these families and the victims and our heroes, Reporting for GH1 News, Godwin Asidiba. To a rather shocking story, a 22-year-old man whose name has been given as Akwesi Mensa on Friday, July 23, 2021, stabbed his father to death at Asen Manso in the Asen South District of the Central Region. The suspect, who later reported himself to the police after the incident, is said to be mentally challenged, according to his relatives. According to eyewitnesses, Akwesi Mensa suspected his father of dragging him and taking blood samples because he, the suspect, was adamant on going to the hospital for a routine checkup. He immediately rushed his father and stabbed him countless times after confronting him. And this is how we end the news this morning. My name is Godwin Asidwa. The show continues with Sewami here and Lantan Papanko. Don't miss it.